guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I've never done like a, just a chilled, sit down, get ready with me kind of video where I just like chill, talk to you guys while I do my makeup. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below and... With that being said, let's get into it. Oh my goodness, you guys, it feels so weird to be sitting down in front of the camera again, but I'm so excited about it. So anyways, I would normally like zoom you guys in when I do my eyes, because I am starting on my eyes first, but this isn't really gonna be like a tutorial in a sense, like I'm just gonna be doing the makeup. So I'll just keep it at, at this distance, at a safe distance. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So first of all, let me just address the fact that, yes, my voice, man, it sounds so different. Um, it is a lot better than what it was. If you have me on Snapchat, you know all about it. I did completely lose my voice for a good week. It was honestly like the hardest thing to go through because I couldn't even like go out to go do things and like communicate with people. Like I couldn't even go to the post office because like they wouldn't be able to understand like what I'm saying. So I pretty much just stayed home for an entire week. If you have me on Snapchat, I'm so sorry that you had to like listen to me complain every day about my voice, but you guys are the best. What I ended up habi having, <laughs> so philo. <laughs> what I ended up having is bronchitis, which is like, I don't know how I got it. Don't know where I got it from. I'm just gonna set my lids. Um, but I did have like the flu, so I guess it was like because of that that I got the bronchitis. I don't know, but honestly, I hate being sick. Such a waste of time. And it was like, it was honestly killing me that I couldn't like film. I probably could have waited like an extra day before I filmed because my face was like swollen, congested and stuff. But to be honest, I just wanted to film. And can we just, yep, I got a new background. Ooh. I don't know if you guys are gonna like it. I did ask you guys in like other videos whether you thought I should get a background. Some of you guys were like, yes, do it, like get a background. And then some of you were like, no, don't. I like your background. But if you know me, then you know I'm very much a person of like a creature of habit. Like I hate change. Before I continue talking for 20 years, I'm just gonna show you guys. I'll be using this today, the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I have not used this palette for like the longest time, but mm, I just, I wanna go like all out and do a really intense makeup look today because I have not done my makeup, like done makeup, makeup for ages and I just, yeah, I just want to really do my makeup today. So I'm firstly gonna take, whoops, I don't know how to do this. I don't remember how to do this. I don't know how to film, but I'm gonna take this shade right here, the pinky shade, and I'm just using the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Bush and I'm gonna run it through my crease. Anyways, like I was saying, so yeah, uh, what was I saying? I am very much a creature of habit. Like I don't like change. It took me so long to decide like, should I like switch things up and get a new background or should I keep it like the same? But I one day was just like, yeah, change is good. I'll just, I'll just try it. So I did. And um, this is my first time filming with it. Uh, don't get me wrong though. Like I definitely will have the normal background, like my original actual broom. I will still film with that. Just, I think for tutorials and stuff, I want to just keep the background really simple and plain. So it's a lot like easier to focus on what I'm actually doing. I really hope you guys don't mind that I sound the way I do. I know like some people hate listening to people when they have like sickness or like a croaky throat, but your girl is just really excited to film today, okay? You know what's crazy as well is that the whole like week, week and a half that my, like I've been sick, my skin, man, my skin has been so good. Like, I mean, excuse this. It is that time of the month for me right now. So, you know, I'm breaking out. But my skin, man, was so good. And I was legit, like, admiring my skin. I was like, wow, how am I sick right now and my skin looks this good? I still get a lot of questions from you guys, like, randomly out of nowhere on my videos, like, asking me how I faded my acne, my acne scars. My acne scars, yeah. Yeah, I guess a lot of you are curious. My acne scarring was pretty bad. I'm gonna take the shade Rebel and put it in my crease as well. I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. So like I was saying, um, yeah, a lot of you guys ask me 
how I faded my acne scarring. Yes, I did use vitamin E oil, 100% pure. I'll leave a link for it in the description box of the exact one that I have because I get a lot of people asking me and I tell them like, it's just vitamin E oil, like 100% pure. As long as it's 100% pure, you'll be good. But still, like, I guess people want the exact one that I used. So I will leave a link for it in the description box. But anyways, um, yeah, so my acne scarring was really bad. And obviously my skin is pretty, pretty good right now. What faded it as well is just time, man. Like it honestly takes time. Our skin is like constantly regenerating itself. And honestly, it just takes time. Like if you have deep pitted scars, then yeah, it will take a lot longer. Mine were slightly deep. I mean, I do still have a little bit, like a little bit of like pitted scarring, but nothing too intense. But it honestly just takes time, guys. And I know it's like frustrating to hear that because it's like you want your acne scars to go away like right now, but it just takes time. And you just have to keep doing your routine of like applying the vitamin E oil if you want to do it the way that I got rid of it. I mean, my dermatologist did give me the option of like laser resurfacing to my skin but oh my gosh my nose but to be honest i didn't i didn't want to do it plus it's like really expensive so i was like nope i'm good my nose is like super swollen in a way and red because i've been like blowing my nose like every two minutes every single day so we're gonna have to really contour her today <laughs> anyways next up i'm gonna take which one do i want to take oh okay I'm gonna take this shade here, Activist, yes. And I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. What I'm gonna do with this shade is, whoa, 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 girl. I'm pretty much just gonna pack this all over my lid and blend it up into my crease. Told you we were going intense today. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Another thing I wanted to talk about is my giveaway. Yes, the giveaway already ended and yes, a winner was picked. Everything was announced on my Snapchat like, that was my first ever giveaway, so I guess it was a little bit of a trial run because I've never done one before. Like, I don't know the best way of how to operate and run a giveaway. Like, let's face it, it wasn't like the best way to do things. But regardless, the winner was picked in a really fair way. Like, it was, she was picked through like a random comment generator, which basically means that all the comments that were left on that video were put into a random generator and one was picked because honestly like I can't I wouldn't have been able to pick a winner in terms of like future giveaways yes I definitely want to have more giveaways for you guys because I feel like there are so many deserving subscribers who like deserve Ooh, sorry <laughs> who like deserve to be given things because you guys are the best and you're just so loving and caring and supportive and all that good stuff how do I explain this it's kind of hard to pick a winner because obviously there are people out there who just scour YouTube, Instagram, the internet in general for giveaways. Like, I see you, don't think I don't see you, like I know about it. And it's hard to try and justify like why someone should be picked, which is why I did it in the way that I did it, in like such a random way. But the way that I'm thinking of like how I want to do my giveaways in the future is that yeah i'll announce my giveaways but i might just like slide into someone's dms and be like hey girl you've been super supportive of me see so here you deserve this because honestly there are those subbies who i see that comment on every single one of my videos and really support and watch and you know just I can't even talk but yeah like I see you like supporting every single thing I do don't think I don't recognize you because I remember every single username profile picture everything like I honestly remember you guys and I know the ones who I feel like are so deserving of things but it's hard to like pick a winner because there are so many of you guys who are just so amazing so I honestly think that next time I do a giveaway, it might just be like whoever is the most active on my stuff is going to be the winner because you're the real MVP. I'm liking this eyeshadow, but damn, dark eyeshadows are a mission to blend. Let me tell you that. I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl with my Bedazzle Tarte Lash Curler. This lash curler, like, is cute and all, but sometimes I feel like it doesn't curl my lashes as intensely as it could. And then I'm going with this baby right here. You already know. Fancy tampon mascara, Tarte Lights Camera, lashes. I don't know why I always get, I always go to say flashes. Oh my goodness, guys. I have been using 
my Revita Lash, all my lashes. Lord, they have been growing like crazy. You won't be able to really tell with this kind of look because my lid is like completely dark all over. But my lashes are getting low, man. I swear, all my Snapchat crew, like they know everything there is to know about me. I actually had like a weird allergic reaction to the Revita Lash Serum because I put too much on the first time I used it. I was like, I went really crazy with it and I was like, yes, grow lashes, grow but you're only meant to put like the tiniest amount. So lesson learned, don't put too much lash, se lash serum. I can't talk properly. Don't put too much lash serum on your lashes because you will have swollen eyes and they will be very red. I'm not really sure like what lashes I want to wear with this look, so I'm just testing out. I think I'm gonna use these. These are the Coco Lashes in the Style Diva. You guys know how much love I have for my Queen Bees by Coco Lashes, but no, I'm not gonna be using them today. I'm just using the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive. Now that those lashes are on, I'm going to finish off the eyes later. And I'm gonna start by priming my face because I wanna so I'm just priming with the Guerlain Radiance Pure Gold Primer. I think that's what it's called. I don't know what it's called exactly, but I just know it has the gold flakes in it and I love it. For foundation, I'm using this baby, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You guys know how much I love this stuff. I swear, like, if you have not tried this, what are you doing? I'm just gonna go to town. Mmm, yes. Paint the face quite literally. Get it in my hair, yep. Why did my beauty blender burn? Oh, okay. I actually did wet it. Damn, this pimple is a sucker, isn't it? It does not want to leave the party. It just wants to stay chilling on my face. That's okay. We'll figure it out. I'm just doing a bit of color correcting with none other than the LA Girl Pro Conceal Peach Corrector. I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape, but I don't know which shade I want to use. So I have here, I have a couple of shades in my drawer as well, but I have here the light medium honey and light medium. Mm, I don't know. Let me mix the two. Lately, I've been kind of gravitating towards like concealer that isn't like white, basically. Because let's face it, I did go through a phase where that's all I wanted to wear was like white concealer. But I'm kind of, you know switching things up a little bit. I put like the tiniest little bit of concealer whenever I'm doing like these areas, especially when I use Tarte Shape Tape because this concealer packs a punch. I can't wait until my voice is like 110% like back. Honestly, you guys have been giving me the craziest like recipes and things to do on Snapchat. Like people are like, take a shot of vodka. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. I think that might like burn my throat. So, you know, I don't know if a shot of vodka is really gonna do me any good. I'm gonna powder the rest of my face with the Fresh and Flawless. No, not Fresh and Flawless. Hello Flawless, Fresh and Flawless is Astralis. Oh yeah, you guys, for the longest time, I have been wanting to cut my hair. Like, my hair is pretty long. You can't really tell like on camera because I always have it like, behind me or it just does not look long but let me just like show you guys really quick like this is how long my hair is legit it comes down to like my hair goes down to my butt guys it's been a long time since i've cut my hair the last time i cut my hair was like oh, like ages ago a long time ago oh actually a few years ago i did go like mid-length like up to my shoulder but the last time i cut my hair like a short short was like six or seven years ago when my ex broke up with me i like went through intense morning i'm gonna finish off my eyes now so what am i looking for this brush right here lux petite crease brush by zoeva i'm gonna take that sweetheart shade whoops the pink shade right here and i'm going to run that along my bottom lash line i do apologize that this video is so all over the place i've never done like a get ready with me style video before. But yeah, I don't know how this is gonna turn out once I edit it. Ooh, I like it, I like it. Oh, you know what? I can tell you guys, I wanna tell you guys a story time. Since I don't really have anything else to tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys a story time about why I don't have like a good relationship with my mailman, let's just say that. I'm gonna go into Rebel next and smoke that out on my bottom lash line. Anyways, yeah, I have mentioned this topic in like a couple of other videos and some of you guys have been like, what? What are you talking about? 
I don't get anything delivered to my house. All my packages, like any online orders, anything like that, I get delivered to the post office. I just don't trust the mailman who delivers to my area. So let me tell you the, t the, the story about the time when one of my dresses that I needed for a wedding got stolen. So it all started when I needed to go to a wedding and of course I'm never prepared for anything. So last minute I ordered a dress online and was like, yep. That's what I'm gonna wear, it looks super cute and it will get here in two days being Friday and the wedding was on a Saturday. So I was like, yeah, we're just gonna wing it, we're gonna go with it, this is what we wanna wear and fingers crossed that it's actually gonna look good when I get it. I'm gonna take a teensy bit of um, activist and put that on my bottom lash line as well. But I'm keeping it really close so that it defines the eye. Anyways, like I was saying, so yeah, I had to go to this wedding and I ordered my dress online and I'm waiting and waiting, my dress didn't arrive. I checked my emails and I had an email telling me like your dress has been taken to the post office because you were not home when they tried to deliver it or whatever, which is fair enough, like cool. So I go to the post office to go and pick it up and they were like, oh, you've already picked it up. And I was like, what do you mean I've already picked it up? Like, what are you talking about? And they're like, um, well, it says in our system that you've already collected your parcel. I don't know if this is like the same everywhere else in the world, but basically when you're not home for a parcel delivery, they leave a little note and they basically say like, your parcel will be ready to collect from such and such place at such and such time on such and such day. And generally the only person who can actually collect your parcel is you because it is addressed to you. Or you can sign like a little consent form on this piece of paper that states that someone else can collect it on your behalf. But the only person who can collect it is somebody who lives within your household. So like your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever. Because when they show ID, they need to have their address on their ID, which is the same address as you, obviously, because they live with you. I'm just gonna line my eyes with some liner. Anyway, like I was saying, they basically told me that I'd already collected my item or that I must have like said that somebody within my household could collect it. And I said that's impossible because I didn't even get the card. Man, I suck at telling stories because I've already messed this story up. I actually didn't get one of those little cards on my doorstep and the only reason why I knew that I needed to collect this parcel was because A, I was expecting it and B, I got notified by email. So I was like, yep, my parcel is ready. But anyways, the manager of this post office told me like it's already been taken, so go ask somebody in your household. And I was like, well, nobody in my household has collected this parcel on my behalf. I wasn't even given a card saying that I needed to collect it. And so, long story short, turns out that yes, the postman or whatever delivery guy did come to my house and leave me a card. I don't know whether he left it in my mailbox or at my door. My mailbox is locked, it's very secure, so I just don't think it was left in my mailbox. I think it was left at my door. I'm just gonna take some of this shimmery shade right here, Bunny Girl as it's called. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone in my inner corner. Anyways, to cut a long story short, because I suck at telling stories, basically somebody else did collect my parcel on my behalf, they forged my signature and apparently, apparently, they were able to show ID saying that they did live at my house, which is like completely impossible. But the interesting thing is that I know exactly who this person is. I know where they live. I know everything about them. I know exactly what they look like. So you guys are probably wondering, well, what happened to the dress? Like, did you ever get the dress? No, I didn't get the dress back. And because of that, whole incident. This is why I never get things delivered here because if I get things delivered here and I'm not able to accept them at the time, like I'm not home or the postman just decides to like not even knock, it gets rerouted and taken to that post office. And yeah, I don't have a good relationship with the people at that post office because they didn't help me whatsoever with the whole process of everything. I actually did have to file a police report because I did speak to like the Australia Post department, whatever company. And they basically told me like, yeah, you'll need to file a police report because it is something that is out of our hands. And basically somebody has committed fraud and like stolen your identity or whatever. Um, but yeah, somebody stole my dress. To be honest though, I don't think they would have really gotten much wear out of it because it was like for a wedding, like to go to a wedding. So I don't think they would have gotten much wear out of it, but I don't know. And the thing is, like the crazy thing is, is that they wouldn't have even known 
like what the parcel was. Like they would have just gone out on a whim. I'm just conjuring my face with this. They would have just gone out on a whim and be like, okay, yeah, we'll go collect this parcel, but we don't even know what it is. So that, my friends, is why I never get anything delivered to my house. I always get it delivered to another post office who is very good, who is very good, who actually like looks after all my stuff really well and the people there are really nice. So yeah, that's the story. I'm gonna bronze my face. I'm using the Balms Bahama Mama bronzer. Also, side note, the craziest part about it is that the dress, right? So obviously I didn't have the dress to wear um, to the wedding and I was devastated because I was like, man, like that dress cost me like a hundred bucks and you know, no, I got nothing to wear to the wedding and I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I had to like go out the day before the wedding, find something to wear, which was like a pretty kick-ass outfit. Like I was very happy with what I found to wear. But the crazy part is, is that I get to the wedding and there is a girl there or a lady there who was wearing the exact same dress that I was gonna wear. So, you know, everything happens for a reason, man. Like. That was like the universe telling me like, Lizelle, don't wear that dress now because you're gonna be wearing the same thing as somebody else. And if it took the dress being stolen for it to happen, then so be it. So yeah, at the end of the day, like I wasn't even mad about it. And yeah, I did file a police report and all that stuff, but like nothing against police. I understand they're serving our community and stuff, but they didn't do anything, so. I'm not even mad about it though, because honestly, like it's nothing. I didn't get reimbursed for any money that I spent on the dress, and it was just whatever. Like cut your losses. I'm just gonna put a teeny bit of blush on. Captivating? No, not captivating. Exposed by Tarte. For highlight, I think I'm gonna be using an oldie but a goodie, Becca's Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector. Is that what they call these? Yeah, shimmering skin perfectors. I mean, it's just the oval highlighter by Becca. Ooh, yes. Uh, why do I not use these enough? Like, I swear, I always get so hooked on like a certain highlighter within my collection. And then I pull out another one and I'm like, damn, my voice just cracked. <laughs> Anyways, I'm nearly done. I actually need to put a lip color on. So I'm gonna be using the Chi Chi Lip Liner in It Girl. It's just like a really nice movie pinky kind of shade. Now for the lip color, I wanna use one of these NYX lip lingeries but they are all so very similar. I don't know which one will go with the look. Mm, maybe. Oh, I think it's this one. Yep, I think this is it. So this is the Lip Lingerie in Push Up. All the Lip Lingerie colors are like so similar in shade, but like they're my kind of colors, you know, nudes and all that. I actually have pretty much all of the colors from this range of lipsticks, but NYX actually recently came out with a couple of new shades, so I was thinking of doing a lip swatch video, but I'd rather do it like if it had all the shades. So let me know if that would be something you'd be keen on. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. I look completely different. Bear in mind though, it's been like more than a week since I've done an intense makeup look like this. I don't know where I'm going with this makeup look, but I'm gonna be going somewhere. Maybe just to do some light grocery shopping, like maybe to McDonald's, who knows. As always, everything I used in this video will be listed in the description box below and also all of my social media accounts. So if you wanna catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, you can find all that good stuff down below. And with that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.